everyone. Welcome to our 100 day project. I haven't quite started on my page. My book is over there because I am doing this painting for my daughter for Mother's Day. It is just um, one of my bucket list things to do this year was to go to the color purple with my daughter. And we went and we loved it so, so, so much. So I wanted to do a picture to kind of remind us of the color purple. So that's my painting and I think it's done. I'm not sure a couple of few other things I need to do on it, but yeah, hope you guys like it. Let me know before, because she won't be seeing our 100 day uh, project videos. So you guys will see this before she does. So let me know what you think. So yeah, so Richard, here you can take it and tell them what you're doing. Well, I came home from work today and my project to start off for my chores was to cut some branches off an apple tree. So my project is to draw the apple tree that caused... Monica was upset today because I cut a lot more of the branches down than she thought it was going to come down. So anyways, the project is my paint, my drawing and painting today is the apple tree which I cut branches off. Hmm. And so decapitated it. <laughs> I, I I took the tops off because she says I decapitated it. You but did. anyways, I will get back to you when it's finished. So I finally started. I used some uh, watercolor crayons to achieve this really pretty, beautiful, greeny, bluey. I used a blue, these two. And I just put the yellow intermittently in. But it just came out such a pretty color. I really like it. So now, um, part of the reason that I'm so grumpy and sensitive is because I'm having a bad pain day too. So I just thought, I'll just draw something about my pain and put it on paper. And sometimes that helps. And sometimes it doesn't, but it's a distraction, you know? So that's what I'm doing. And Richard's still trying to repair my decapitated apple tree. Over there. You dedicating that page to anybody? To you. This is to you. Your tree. And you'll see it in the, in the summer, it'll be fully bloomed. No, it, okay, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but well, I mean, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know where it's going. But I've got, that's me crying. And these swirls and circles. And I think I might do my writing right upon my face. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I want to swirl some paint around here and around here. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And here, you want to let them know how far you're at? So, yes, this is where I am. And I think it's almost finished. My tree, my fruit bearing tree. So here is my finished page. So there's the image representing me and teardrops coming down. And then just some swirls and circles for no reason, just because I felt like doing them. And uh, I outlined it in um, archival black ink as usual. And so my text says, I will make peace with my pain. I'm thankful for every day that I'm given, both the easy and hard ones I'm living. I will make peace with my pain. So that's what my page says today. And so that's it. So here's Richard's, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And here's Richard. Hi there. Well, this is the finish page and um, it's the tree 
the tree that we talked about in the beginning, how I did a little bit more cutting than Monica wanted me to, but it turned out okay. It's going to grow because it has life and it will continue to grow and all the branches will fill out. So anyways, I have a verse I want to put in there and it's uh, from Genesis. And it says, Then God said, Let the earth cause grass to sprout, seed-bearing plants, and fruit trees according to their kinds, yielding fruit along with seed on the earth. And it was so. And so that scripture came from Genesis 1 and 11. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.